Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. What the? I was going to wash my hands, I swear. Inspector, not a moment too soon. I've just finished my autopsy report. Ruth Bellamy was killed by plasma damage to the upper vertebrae, the occipital bone, and the cerebellum. If it's any consolation, her death was instantaneous and painless. I've also discovered a poisonous compound in Miss Bellamy's stomach lining ingested during her last meal. Toxic, but not enough to kill her. Spencer Woolrich complained of a stomach ailment around the same time period. I assumed he was being, you know, Spencer, but now I'm not so sure. Almost certainly. Well, possibly they were trying to make her extremely uncomfortable, but I suppose killing her would also satisfy that criterion. The thought occurred to me. I tested this hypothesis by vacating the contents of my stomach and testing for the presence of the same toxin. Slightly elevated levels of mercury and an alarming amount of blue food coloring. But other than that, no, I'm certain it wasn't, as you put it, just the hotel food. Oh, how curious. I do believe you're right. I wonder if this has something to do with the autopsy process. She was halcyon Helen up until the moment I brought her to the operating table. But as soon as I cut her open, I stopped thinking of her as halcyon Helen. It's almost as if she stopped being an icon and became a human being. I had a feeling you'd understand. The Grand Colonial Front Desk warmly welcomes you, Inspector. It's a pleasure to see you again. How may I be of assistance to you, Inspector? I'd love to, Inspector, but I don't really have the authority. Moreover, the guests were promised exclusivity. If I let you up there, I'll never hear the end of it. Hmm. 
That's a good point. If they give me guff, I can just tell them that they're obstructing justice. That has a nice ring to it. Let me just set you up with VI. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Discrepancy detected. This bottle, recently discarded, contains residue from foreign substances. Chemical analysis complete. This unit has detected the following substances. Oil. Terrore. Blood. Terrore. Unidentifiable biological fluids. Terrore. Yes, Inspector. Logical analysis indicates these substances were not present in the bottle's original contents. These substances cause extreme gastrointestinal distress in humans. Large doses can be fatal. This bottle contained Rizospectrum Vodka. The presence of terrore biological fluids may have significantly improved its flavor. About time you arrived. I see you haven't dressed the way I asked you to, but I suppose that was expecting too much of a non-industry lout. Expect a complaint to management. Now, unless you'd like to waste more of my time, I suggest we begin rehearsing. Ready? <coughs> You've fallen right into my trap, Captain. Oh, don't bother to fight back. You cannot hope to stop me from installing philosophism as the system's reigning ideology. Why didn't you fool? It was in the script. Uh, wait. Now that I think about it, you do smell rather like the Aether, old blood and unwashed feet. Oh, no, this is curious indeed. Who are you? And how did you get in here? You're here to investigate me. Oh, I assure you, I'm nothing special. Just an old crook with more money than time. That was a quote from the retiree's revenge, in which I played an ex-thief turned decrepit old man. But uh, of course, I'm certain you already recognized it. Now, what shall I sign first? Your weapon? Your wallet? Or perhaps something... Uh, a little more personal? Undergarment signatures have been popular of late, or so I've heard. Do you mean to say you're not a fan? Well, then how did you get in here? The only staffer cleared for guest room entry is the inspector for Bellamy's murder. Oh. Oh! <clears throat> Hello. <clears throat> uh, hi. Terribly sorry, Inspector. I didn't realize it was you. I understand that I am beyond willing to comply with your search for the fiend that did Bellamy in. You know, now that I look at you, <laughs> you're the perfect reflection of me. Back when I starred in the Marauder's Pain, the absolute picture of justice. Ask me anything at all. I might even give you a straight answer. Indeed. The agonizing bowel pain was most undignifying. 
While I've certainly had no shortage of inadequate hotel meals, this was most explicitly pronounced. I suspect poison. And who would be most likely to poison me but Chef Anwar? Oh, we've clashed almost non-stop about his slop preparation. He must have tainted my meal in retaliation. How alarming! Whoever targeted her was certainly targeting me. I can only thank my ironclad constitution that I'm standing here before you. Oh. Oh! That's very good to know. Perhaps the poisoner simply meant to incapacitate us both, uh, disrupt the product launch. I couldn't say, Inspector. I'm merely an actor. Is that a jibe? Could you imagine the tabloid headlines? Spencer Woolrich, Aetherwave star, spotted in gastronomic distress. Oh, unseemly hardly describes the half of it. None that I can think of. I treat all hotel staff equally, and with the minimum level of respect that they deserve. Very well, then. Certainly. How was it that Bellamy met her end? How? How awful! Whoever did this must have been quite heartless. I was meditating, of course. That's how I get into character. Respectfully, Inspector, it is rather counterproductive to commune with others while meditating. All actors have their methods, and this has been mine ever since I met that wonderful prophet of profitability. She taught me it for my role in The Unemployed Cometh. I had to lie face down on artificially heated pavement. The director wanted our suffering to be convincing. Needless to say, being able to leave my body helped to mitigate the pain both during the eight-hour shoot and with the second-degree burns afterwards. I owe that woman much. Yeah, actually, only since I've been at the Colonial, the unemployed Cometh was shot on sight. That makes it um, a few weeks. I cannot recommend her services enough. If you haven't been to see her yet, you really should. I'll answer whatever you wish. Bellamy has been my co-star throughout the autumn of my career. I should like to think I knew her. In fact, I cannot name a single role in the last ten years that did not involve her in some way. Unless you count the uncredited silent shopkeep on Melissa's meteoroids. Oh, it wasn't. And don't think I haven't picked up on your tone. Resenting Bellamy is one thing, but killing her is another completely. It's also beneath me. Oh, come now, Inspector, what do you take me for? I'm an old man. I neither have the time nor the willpower to kill people for fun. Besides, I have my reputation to think of. I suppose that is enough on that grim subject. Oh, have you now? Please do go on. Uh, uh, don't leave me in suspense. That, yes. Yes, I distinctly recall ordering an alcoholic beverage with my meal. This hotel is certainly bringing a new meaning to the phrase rotgut. Management shall receive the complaint to end all complaints. I'm quite used to being breathlessly watched. Oh, must I relive that ghastly event again? My intestines still have yet to fully recover. But I suppose we... Very well, then.
What in the... how? <sighs> Never mind. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Multiple discrepancies detected. First discrepancy. A woolly cow is present in this hotel room. Woolly cows are an import species for the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve and are incapable of affording upper-class accommodations. Second discrepancy. This woolly cow is dangerously inebriated with Rizzo Spectrum Vodka. Alcohol sanguinization ratio exceeds recommended maximum. Zero. This unit has not been programmed to include bovine jurisprudence in its library of information. A brief survey of this area reveals that the most recent occupants were athletes belonging to the Rizzo's Rangers Tossball Club. Insufficient data. A brief survey of localized property damage divided by the area of this room yields the following estimate. This unit was likely occupied by every member of the Rizzo's Rangers. Minus one. Initiating banter protocol. Now simulating familiar and welcoming demeanor. Burbage 3001 is trained to recognize all board approved actors. Greetings, fellow star. Your performance in Maverick Johnston's latest drama was Burbage 3001's programming. His banter protocol exhausted. Reverting to default behavior. Grieving and despair. Oh, Halcyon Helen Burbage 3001 was designed to disrupt Halcyon Helen's monopoly over the Aetherwave serial market. This unit's programming is based on Helen's most famous roles. Burbage 3001. Anything Halcyon Helen can do, this unit can do slightly worse. Now running shock and dismay protocol. What's this? Helen's death was a murder? How horrifying. Bring that killer to justice, designated authority figure. This unit has not yet completed its grief cycles.
Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Analysis of this stovetop reveals an alarming degree of grease buildup, approximating proximity to volatile gases and chemicals. Chances of an explosive combustion upon next use currently at 92.9%. Searching slug work logs. No work log found, creating conjecture. Slug has likely not fixed this issue due to a lack of responsibility on the part of their employees. Wait, 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 bad idea! Performing scan. Gaslight appears to have gone out some time ago. Chance of explosive combustion without gaslight, 0.01%. Most corporations have regular cleaning procedures to prevent damage to company property. Slug, already unlike most corporations in a variety of ways, does not. That or the employees tasked with inspecting are shirking their duties. For shame. Yes? Are you here for the double rack of smoked sprat? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you'll have to wait. Oh, don't give me that look. Let me see if I can pencil you in for later. Actually, you're, you're the inspector? Here? Why... I, I mean, you may ask me whatever you want. I have nothing to hide. Of course I did. I would never allow anyone else to touch the meals of so important a guest. Oh. Oh, my law, this is the end, isn't it? My mother always warned me that the culinary world was too dangerous, but I didn't heed her warnings. Okay, okay, I wasn't the one who did it, but I might have been mistaken when I said I was constantly watching Helen's food. Spencer Woolrich and Bellhop Owens were underfoot in the kitchen as I was preparing Helen's meal. Either one of them could have tampered with the food when I was fetching ingredients. Mr. Woolrich often finds the hotel's meals wanting. He seems to enjoy complaining in person. While I could appreciate someone with a discerning palate for once, I believe that Mr. Woolrich simply enjoys the attention he gets from us. Though don't tell him I said as much. If you wish to speak with him, Mr. Woolrich can most likely be found in his suite on the VIP guest floor. He's usually there, if he's not poking around here. Yes, but not specifically. Owens often procures exotic ingredients from the creatures at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. Our guests can be rather... particular. 
Let's not talk about the incident with the raptodon pheromone glands. It's always hard to say when Owens might be back. If I were you, I'd make a trek to the reserve myself. Otherwise, who knows how long you'll have to wait. I understand your reluctance, but... Oh! Oh! I just remembered! The kitchen security camera. It'll prove I'm telling the truth about everything. Constable Keen has access to the security footage in her office at the spaceport. If you visit her, you can figure out what truly happened with Helen's meal. Well, it's a breach of professionalism, of course. Why else would I worry about it? What? Truly? That's an alarming business oversight. Instead of volatile chemicals, the corporations should put barbiturates in everything. Everyone likes barbiturates. But I don't believe that was a risk with Helen's meal. I was, uh, up to something else. I... Thank you for your understanding, Inspector. I'm sure you'll find the true culprit before long.